Hey guys, so how do you get over a bad call, right? You, so this is Jason Morris with the Facebook group, Real Estate Agents That Really Work. Um, if you would like, subscribe, follow me, uh, leave me some comments and a little feedback. And if you have any real estate questions, please leave them in the comments. So how do you get over a bad call? Uh, the number one way is just to make that next call, right? And if you're actually just dialing each number individually, it's kind of hard to do sometimes, man. You, you, get on, you get on a call, you call up a seller. They hate real estate agents. They hate you because you're breathing. They hate you because you're <laughs> – here's the thing. They don't really know you. They're not going to recognize you in Walmart this afternoon. They're not going to come to your office and beat you up, I promise. Um, the best way to – just get through that is to make the next call. And the easiest way to do it is use a dialer. Red X has storm dialer. I highly recommend Red X. I highly recommend storm dialer. You can load your database into it. It's very versatile. They have a full training program. They can help you get set up really quickly, but that dialer will take that no matter how bad that call is. As soon as you push the hang up button, it dials the next number, right? Number two, take a break. So sometimes you just have to, guys, we only have so much mental energy sometimes, and sometimes that mental energy can go away really quickly. I understand this better than anybody, but sometimes you have to take a break. Now, the downside with taking a break is sometimes you take a break and you don't come back, right? You say, hey, I'm going to run. I'm going to run to Starbucks and get me a coffee real quick. You run to Starbucks, you go, oh, well, you know what? While I'm out, I'm just going to stop by the grocery store. While I'm out, I'm going to stop by Walmart, pick up something the kids need, whatever it is. Guys, I don't recommend doing that. If you do take a break, don't leave your office. Don't leave the little area you call from. You know, maybe you maybe you take, close your eyes, listen to some music for a few minutes, um, get up, go to the bathroom, come back fresh. Um but be careful when you take a break, man. So many times I'm guilty of this myself. I take a break and then I just don't come back. Number three, guys, what we have to do is we have to commit to the process. We have to commit to the process of making calls, calling for sale owners, calling expires, calling our, our leads, right? And a lot of agents I see, they're committing to the outcome of each individual call. And if you do that, if you're committed to the outcome of each individual call, man, those are going to be some tough calls for you, right? But if you commit to the process, you accept that you're going to have to dial X number of numbers to get one person on the phone. Then you're going to have to talk to X number of people. There's always a conversion rate, but you're going to have to talk to X number of people before you get a person that actually wants to meet with you for a listing appointment, guys. So guys, that's my, my advice on getting over a bad call. If you would follow me, um, like this video, share it if you know somebody that needs this help.